A simple and fun to use weekly schedule in Notion, useful for your lectures, workouts or anything else you want to repeat on a weekly basis. You have all the needed info at a glance and you can reschedule your activity in the daily view. But without further ado, let's jump into it. It's Nada here and if you like the content, click the like button and the subscribe button, it really helps a lot. If you already subscribed, then turn on notifications in order to know when new tutorials about 3D art and productivity are going live. As always, I want to show you the process that got me here, because I believe that following along can really help you understand the different possibilities in Notion and lets you gain enough experience in order to create your own tools. We are on a fresh new page, so let's turn it into a database table and let's start playing around with it. So let's um, create our first entry. Let's call it just course A. And we are going to add just a few properties, no fancy formulas this time, we don't need them. So the first property will be the weekday and it will be a multi-select, so it's, it's fine. And then we will have, in our example, we can like attach some kind of uh, person to the task so for example in this example here we have a professor that is uh, teaching the specified course and this will be a select property and then we will add a couple of more select properties so we have the class or even better the classroom so the the place where the lecture will take place and then lastly we have our our in all of this property i like to use color and icons to make it a little bit more fun to use uh, so let's add the days of the week here let's choose a color for the weekdays and uh, a different color for Saturday and Sunday so we have a a visual clue of the weekend and the working days. And now let's add uh, a couple of professors on the other property. Just random names, so just to be, and we can use a face emoticon here for this guy and let's choose a simple color just the default one for the professors it's just another property you can choose whatever you want whatever needs more suited to your schedule let's add classrooms and let's use a color for the classrooms 
let's add hours now and uh, feel free to choose one hour property or you can also divide by 30 minutes options what i like to do here um it's to use the uh, clock icons and match the clock icon with the actual uh, time i i put in the in the entry so let's say we start with eight o'clock so we have eight and then nine and so on of course you can write the hours with 24 hours numbers or a.m. and p.m. it's up to you and if you don't know how to bring up this emoji um, menu in Windows 10 you just need to press the Windows uh, button and then press the, um, the dot or the comma no the dot is working and it brings up this and the uh, emoji, emoji menu then you can type a word and it will bring you uh, the related icons you can use so every time in this case I write clock and then uh, I am presented with only the clocks available and for colors uh, for the hours I like to use like a, a scale uh, of colors it's like going pretty nice I just want to change the 12 and then we can use the pink and then we can close it with the red for 2 p.m. I think it helps a bit to uh, quickly um, understand the timing of the different courses or tasks and so now we can duplicate let's clean this up a bit and let's duplicate our first entry uh, a few times so we have more courses with which we can populate our weekly schedule So we filled in some lecture and uh, being multi-select the weekday property we can add more days of the week but if we do so uh, without using fancy formulas um, our lecture let's say I have this course I also on Thursday but it will be always at the same time if you need to uh, have the same course on another uh, hour um, you can duplicate it and name it the same and you have a Monday class course I and a Thursday class course I at um, a different time let's say we have uh, some courses at the same time 
at different days so let's add some for example here now let's start creating our different views that will help us manage our weekly schedule so let's bring in a board and this is our main weekly board and let's change our group by instead of professor to weekday let's hide this one and as you can see we have a full week line with our different lectures and now we can just sort the lectures by hour and we have of course we have overlapping courses because I just put random timings we have uh, a full week of uh, lectures and we can add properties we don't need like the weekday we don't need to see it and we would like to see the professor attached to the lecture and move the hour above so it's the first property we see and then we can create uh, different uh, views that help us manage the, um, the courses on a daily basis so let's create our Monday board we can duplicate this one we change again the grouping this time by hour and filter only the weekday that contains Monday so we have um, a view just for our Monday schedule and here it's really nice to reschedule every appointment or any classroom really easily and as you can see the timing is uh, updated live so it's really nice to use and let's do the same for the other days of the week so we can copy duplicate this one that is already set up and this is for Tuesday let's change the filter and we are done we have overlapping courses because I put random hours in our example so we can change this like this and let's move on to the other days let's do the same for the weekend so maybe you want to use the same system for uh, events or parties or everything else you want to do in the weekend and here we go we have our weekly board I will put on top we have our default view for insert insert of new courses or appointments and managing all the different properties on a table it's a lot easier and then we have so our weekly board with our weekly schedule and different views for every day of the week something you would like to add it's maybe a recurring task a recurring event that it's like uh, happening at the same time every day like a lunch break uh, 
and uh, in this case we can add every working day and assign it for example at 1 p.m. so that if we go back to our weekly board we have our lunch break listed every day it's a nice addition this was a simple weekly schedule setup in Notion if you like the content please leave a like subscribe and comment below thanks again for watching and see you to the next one